Hey guys, it's your girl Janet Lee. Welcome to my YouTube channel if you're new. If you're not new, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be talking about college refund checks. Now this video, I announced it on my Instagram a little while ago. If you don't follow my Instagram, follow it now. I'm going to put it right here. I announced it a little bit back and you guys were like, you paid $20,000 from your school? How? How can I do it too? And I was like, I'm going to show y'all because I'm not a gatekeeper. Like, everybody knows I don't gatekeep. So I'm just going to hop right into it because this is the best time to really start. You really need to start now. <laughs> like, everything I'm about to tell you, do it today. Do it tomorrow. Do it all summer. Because once fall ro rolls around and the refund checks start dropping and people are making $5,000, $6,000 and you're not, you're going to be mad. <laughs> So keep watching, stay tuned, and um, I'm about to tell y'all how to do it. Quick story about me. My name is Gianna Kalise. I go to Dell State University. I'm a graduating senior. I'm 19 years old. How I did it, I went to early college high school. That's a part of my college journey. That's why I was able to complete school completely debt-free. Woo, no loans. Woo, all that. Graduated two years early because I did dual enrollment which i'll do a whole nother video on that if y'all want me to but that one's more for like people with kids and people who are about to go to high school i graduated in 2021 about to graduate again in 2023 i made about twenty thousand dollars for my school in refund checks now what is a refund check a refund check is sent to you by your school um if you have a surplus of money in your student account a surplus of money means that you had too much money like after they took out everything for fees and tuition and um miscellaneous whatever you know how schools are they have to send you back um whatever they can't spend the amount that you make the amount that you are spent if you're like me and your efc is zero is determined by your fafsa like what you put on the federal application or the free application of federal student aid. I think that's what it is. Okay. So after you complete that, you know, they tell you what your EFC is and they send it to your school. Now, the government will determine this information. It's also based on what your school is going to give you as well. So like in my case, I had the Pell Grant, which is federal aid, and it's like $6,000, $3,000 a semester. I had some thousand dollar grant from the government as well. And then I had a full tuition scholarship. And I also had the Inspire Scholarship, which was which replaced the full tuition scholarship eventually because my school just decided to change it. I also had um, a Burger King scholarship, which was like a thousand dollars. I ended up having some scholarship on my account that I don't even know what it was, but it worked out. Like they, I had plenty of money, honey. Trust me. Uh, yeah, I'm And honestly, I'm blessed because without it, I probably wouldn't have been able to afford my tuition, my fees and all that and would have had to get loans. And I really didn't want loans because if you can avoid debt, why not? Now, you're probably like, so how can I do what you did? Well, my first step to you is fill out the FAFSA. Every year, fill it out on the very first day, as soon as it drops, like a sneaker release, you know. That's the best time to do it um, because aid does, like, run out. It does run low. My second tip to you is apply for scholarships. The only reason why I'm able to get $5,000, $6,000 back is because I had a surplus of money in my account. How do you get a surplus of money? It's not by depending on your school or by depending on FAFSA to cover everything it's by going out and doing as many scholarships as you can and letting your school say okay you earn this money here you go the money is expected to be used for things school related like uh living expenses transportation whatever but you don't have to use it for that like if you are if your situation is taken care of like if you're like me and you work and you just know how to manage your money you can do whatever you want with it it is taxable income though so just keep that in mind when you're doing your taxes but do those scholarships do as many as you can do one every single day until the fall semester honestly they can be 
long scholarships they can be short scholarships but make sure you really busting them out for me i only did a couple and i'm lazy so i didn't do any of the scholarships that require essays i still managed to get the horatio alger um scholarship i was like a state something only t one other person maybe won that scholarship and it's a ten thousand dollar scholarship split over four years so it's like two thousand a semester i ended up using all of that i think because I explained my situation and told them, like, I'm graduating in two years. I need all my money. <laughs> the Burger King scholarship. I, I think I used that in one year. But that was okay. $20,000. I'm going to plug in the proof and all of that, like... I'm so grateful because that money really came in handy. I really needed it. And if I wasn't using it for things like bills and stuff, then I was saving it or I was taking a trip, you know, doing things that you should be doing with your money. So tip one, fill out the FAFSA. Tip two, do as many scholarships as you can. Schools are able to say like, you know, you have too much money um, and we're not sending you all this money. <laughs> like they can say that. Now, I know a lot of people are going to watch this and be like, I expected some scammer method, some hack, some trick, some, I'm about to finesse the system. And really the entire finesse is just you being smart enough to apply yourself. What the fuck is that shit, man? Like I did, okay? So don't think you about to, yeah. All you have to do is apply for a couple scholarships. Like, it's really that simple. You don't have to apply every year if you do renewable ones. If your scholarship is not renewable, you are going to have to apply every year, but it's really not that big of a deal. Scholarships can range from $500, $1,000, $10,000, $100,000. It depends on the ones that you do. Now, of course, the bigger ones are going to probably require, like, essays and stuff, but who cares? Apply yourself. That's the only way you're going to be making 5000 a semester. Like, if you don't want to work, do a scholarship. Scholarships can be based on many different things. Like, the Horatio Alger scholarship is based on adversity. What have you been through in life and how have you overcame it? How has it built you? And how do you plan to apply that to your future self? The Burger King scholarship was just based on extracurriculars and, like, how smart you are. But... You know, there's plenty of different types of scholarships. There's Hispanic type scholarships. There's black people scholarships. There's white people scholarships. There's, I don't know. Okay. Anyways, um, there's music scholarships. There's art scholarships. There's um, LGBTQ scholarships. Like there's scholarships for every single niche, whatever you want to say. You just have to find them. I looked on sites like FastWeb, scholarships.com, da da da. Um, if you a hustler, you're going to apply for a scholarship. Like, if you're not, you're just not. You either got it or you don't. And it definitely paid off. One thing it did do is pay off. <laughs> don't get me wrong. There's other ways to make money in college. Like, you can work at your school. You can get a job. You can, you know, find side hustles and gigs and stuff. But this is by far the easiest and the most simple way. Like, you literally just spend a couple days doing a couple scholarships. You get them. If you did good and you, you know, you're worth it. And by the fall, you're set. Like, they do take, like, a couple, a, a little while to disperse um, scholarship money, refund checks. Like, maybe a month and some change sometimes. So, sorry I'm not a hacker. Sorry I'm not a scammer. I just do my scholarships and my FAFSA. And I let my school pay me. I kick my feet up. I go to work at the office and that's it. Um, so make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I hope I, that you learned something from this video. I really hope that you guys do get out here, go to scholarships.com, FastWeb, find some scholarships. Your church might have a scholarship. Your job might provide a scholarship, anything. I know some jobs do, um, you know, like reimbursement, tuition reimbursement, things like that. Take advantage, but you really got to get out here and look for your resources. If not, you're just going to be the same old broke college student. Like nobody is going to do it for you. You need to do it for yourself. Okay. Love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye.